Falme Daudi, Falme Daudi, Ali Cheza. Hallelujah. We want to call down the fire of the Lord. So you are going to watch us as we do it, then you are going to do it after us. Moto, 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 moto. Look at that. Moto, 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 moto. Let us jump. Cheza, cheza, cheza ya yesu, cheza. Cheza. Cheza ya yesu, cheza. Cheza. Cheza ya yesu, cheza. Cheza. Now let us do it one more time. Let us do it for the last time. Hallelujah. We want to give the Lord one perfect one. Hallelujah. Haya, pole pole tu. Inaitua mfuki ya pole pole. Batoto ba mungu. Moto, 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 moto. Shukisha. Cheza, cheza. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We thank, thank God for Lord. the time that we have had in his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Just look at your neighbor. If your neighbor is not sweating, there is something wrong with this neighbor of yours. Unless your neighbor has a problem, maybe they don't sweat. But I believe God has received our praise. He has Amen. received our sacrifice of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it was just all about telling him thank you for all he has done. For what he is yet to do. For what he did. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we serve a faithful, faithful God. He never changes. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if everyone is excited the way I am. Personally, I am so happy. I am so excited. Because this can only be God. It cannot be a human being. A, a human being cannot do this. Hallelujah. Amen. It is just only God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to finish up as we shangilia. We tell God, thank you because of what you have done. Tunaenda kushangilia. Tupige kelele kwa buwana. Buwana sifiwe. Because it is a celebration. We are happy. Yeah. We are excited. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah.
Hakuna, 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 hakuna usilo weza. Hakuna, 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 hakuna usilo weza. Imba kuna, hakuna, hakuna, hakuna.
Hallelujah. Amen. We just want us to lift our hands as we worship the Lord this day. Tell him that ye ye apungu. Sisi tupungu ye ye ongezeke. I want you to mean it and sing it from your heart. Amen. Oh, 
Somebody say you were my Anna. But for us, God has been so good. Let our hearts give him praise. Let your heart magnify that name. Because he's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of our worship this morning. Lord, wewe ni muema. Unasaili sifa. Unasaili kuinuliwa. Unasaili kushujutiwa. Hakuna alie kama wewe. Pokea sifa na utukufu. Tuna kushukuru siku ya leo. We honor you, O oh God. We glorify that name of Jesus. The name that is above every other name. That at the mention of Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that you are God. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we glorify you. Wewe ni mwema. Wewe ni mwema. Lord, you are good. Lord, we say that you've been good. We bless you, oh Jesus. I want to hear the congregation singing oh. you Mwema. I want you to sing it from the bottom of, me, of your heart for five good years. I want you to tell him that he is good and my heart praises his name. You Mwema Anasaili moyo wangu sifa za kompe bwana you mwema come on somebody sing asaili moyo wangu sifa za kompe one more time, say, you mwema anasahili moyo wangu sifaza komupe bwana. Now let somebody celebrate the Lord. Come on, somebody give the Lord some praise. Come on, somebody give some Lord some praise. Come on, somebody lift up some, lift the name of Jesus. I need some more sound. We've been shouting and we've been screaming. Hallelujah. Peter, I need some more sound. Because celebration has just begun. Hallelujah. Amen. Ask your neighbor, are you for us or against us? If they are not smiling. Come on, ask your neighbor, ask the one behind, are you for us or against us? I, I ask the other neighbor, are you for us or against us? Come on, somebody give the Lord some praise! Come on, somebody give the Lord some praise! Wait, we are going to celebrate. You know, today is our anniversary. Ambia Jiraniyako, today is our anniversary. Today's night is not like any other Sunday. 
Uh, uh, if your neighbor is not talking, find another one who is willing. Muambie, today is our anniversary. Five good years. Hey. 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 KWC, happy anniversary. It is like you are not even feeling it. Uh -uh. If I came all the way from the far to come and celebrate what the Lord has done, and where we are saying to not celebrate, and you are like, Uliza Jidani yako, Shida ni nini? Kama ni viatu toa. Kama ni nguwe ikotai tifungu. Wewe, this is our anniversary. This is our celebration. The Lord has been so good. Yes. Hey. Yes. And let me tell you what. Yes. There are those who thought it will not happen. Yes. But you know what? Yes. The Lord has been on our side. Yes. Hey. Now you know for us we come from a noisy church. We are very crazy. And Pastor Grace, we partake of the same grace. Crazy people. We are not normal. Ambia jirani yako for us, we are tulikuwa, tuko wenda azimu. Hallelujah. Now we are going to make a shout. I want you to lift up that chair and celebrate. Because the favor of the Lord has been on our side. God has been on our side. We have made it. Come on somebody. I want you to carry the chair. Today, it is okay to be disorganized. Because the devil has to know that it is our anniversary. Yeah. Those who are out there, please come in. We are going to celebrate. You need not come here to be dignitaries. No, 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 no. We are going, all of us, to celebrate. Kila mtu ameshika kiti. Tunaenda kuinua viti. I want the camera to roll round. Uh -uh. Where is Mwaniki? We want this camera to go round. We want everybody to see all over the world yeah. that this is our anniversary. Yeah. Number five, the years, the, the number of grace. Yeah. Ah, Moniki, are you ready? Yeah. Tell your neighbor it is celebration time. Yes, the anniversary has started. Are you ready? Yes. Kevin, are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to count one up to five. Yeah. When we get to five, I want you to give your best dance. If you are a Mukamba, do a best dance. If you are a Muganda, you better shake it. Hey, because it is our anniversary. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Now, on the count of one. When I do one, you hit. Are you ready? Yes. If your neighbor Anna Kitty Mwambia Uta Tununulia Kitty Akanisa Sasa. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. This worship member, she understands my feeling. Yes. We are celebrating. We are celebrating. Yes. Pastor Ezra, we are celebrating. Yes. The number of grace. Pastor Grace, we are celebrating grace. Hallelujah. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Is somebody ready? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Yeah. Come on, somebody, shout. 
If your neighbor is not sweating like me, that neighbor has a problem. Hallelujah. Now let us arrange the seats. Hallelujah. Number of grace. Number of favor. Number of outstretch. Shift. There is a shift. There is a lifting. Whether the devil likes it or not. For us we have shifted. For us we have shifted. Whether you like it or not. Kingdom worship center. It has shifted. We have moved. Now somebody give the Lord some praise. Hey, we have just started. By the time we, we reach 6 p.m., some of you, Mutachese ile dance ya Daudi, mbaka nguo ziraruke. Hallelujah. Because now, we are doing Caruso, a revolution that cannot be silenced. Hallelujah. Our bishop said that God has given us Kirigiti. So if you are not here, just know officially that you are the landlord of Kirigiti. Uh -uh. I said you are the landlord of Kirigiti. You are the MCA of Kirigiti. You are the member of parliament of Kirigiti. KWC, we are the owners of Kirigiti. Woo, I love that. Amen. Please have your seats. I'm feeling good in the house of the Lord. Amen. Are you feeling good? If, you, if this is your first time to be in this place, just know for us that's how we do it here. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, is this your first time? Tell them this is how we do it here. This is how we lift up our chairs. This is our nature. Worship us by citizenship. We are not begging to worship, but we, you know, for us, we are the worshipers. Actually, Prophet Ezra preached in a, in, a, in a worship experience, and he said we are the worship. Do you agree with me? Is somebody happy? Come on, somebody just lift up your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody just say, thank you, Jesus. Our viewers online, welcome to the Kingdom Worship Center. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our online viewers. Come on, let us welcome our online viewers. Hallelujah. Once again, we are glad that you have plugged in. And we, be, we don't doubt it that you are blessed, that you are lifted, and the Lord is going to make you excited like us tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. And on behalf of... Uh, uh, Reverend Grace, the apostle, the woman of the Lord. Hey, what other title? She's a beautiful queen of the house. Come on, let us appreciate the woman of God. Come on, appreciate the woman of God. Wait, Bishop, these people are have jealous you. They are not celebrating our own mama. Come on, I want somebody to appreciate the woman of God. Come on, appreciate her. Hey! Come on, appreciate the woman of God. Now, as you are standing, Mamba, this is a standing novation for you. We say thank you for standing. It has not been easy, but you stayed standing. And this congregation and those watching online, if you can just give her a standing novation, she did not give up. When so many thought that the kingdom worship center would be closed, she stayed standing. Now salute to the woman of God. Come on. Salute this lady. Come on, somebody salute her. And tell her more grace. More grace. More grace. More anointing. More favor. More blessing. More joy. More peace. Good health is your portion in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. Now as you are standing, today is a lot of standing. So if you came thinking you are going to sit, trouble for you. I want us to appreciate the men of God who have traveled 
all the way. We are going to start with our bishop. He has come from the land of, I don't know what they eat there anyhow. What is that? Pop and phrase. Wow. Hey, but it is okay. Where we come from, we, we, we eat matoke. In the land of Kenya, we eat posho. Posho. Hey, it's posho. Okay. Ugali. <laughs> so, let us appreciate the bishop himself. None other than Bishop Musepa. Come and appreciate him. Wow. Bishop, on behalf of Reverend Grace once again, and on behalf of Kingdom Worship Center leadership and the a congregation, we honor you. We thank you so much for honoring our invitation and coming to the land of Kenya. Indeed, we've been blessed. Uh, do you want him again? Yes. Do you want Bishop to come again? Yes. Bishop, again, they have welcomed you here. Karibu sana, feel at home, the land of peace. Amen. Now, once again, I want us to appreciate Prophet Ezra. The man who... Wait! Wait! Eh -eh. Muna nipeleka mbio sana. Hallelujah. The joy is bubbling. This is the man who has mentored me. I was not a preacher at all. It was not somewhere even close. But this man made sure that I preach. When I do my broadcast, I can do a broadcast for one hour. And he tells me, you didn't preach. We are going to start again. And he cancels. Hallelujah. Amen. When I look at Prophet Ezra, I will speak to, uh, about him because I know him. He's a father to me. He's a mentor. Amen. I call him Prophet Ezra Elisha, a.k.a. Kingsman. Amen. <laughs> so when we look at this beautiful church, when you look at all the branding of KWC, do you love this banner? Do you love it? Did you love our posters? Are they on the screen? Did you love that? Have you gone to our website? Have you gone to the KWC page, Facebook page? Have you checked us on Revelation Word? Have you checked us on Raymond Woman? This is the man behind the branding. Hallelujah. He's the pastor, the CEO of Revelation Word Eldoret, Kenya. Amen. And you know what? Let me stop there. Next time I will tell you that one. Let us celebrate the man of God all the way from Uganda. It is none other than Prophet Ezra Elisha. Come on, celebrate him. Amen. And I want to appreciate the flow team. Ah, the flow team. Come on, appreciate our flow. Appreciate our worship team. Appreciate the band. We appreciate all of you. We appreciate the ushers. All the ushers, you've done us good. You have done us great. Hallelujah. And before I forget, the most special people in this house, without women, there is no food. <laughs> without women, we don't have flowers. Now, I want us to appreciate the royal ladies. Come on, appreciate them. Appreciate them. Ah, woo! Amen. All of you have done a great job for the past five good years. Amen. Our leaders in hospitality, in the protocol, in the ushers, in the worship, Ah, the guys who have done the deco, everybody will. I want you to know that Pastor Grace loves on you. Amen. And she loves you to life. Say to life. Now let us sit on, let us just have our seat and I want us to get our offering. I want to bring the woman of God. Amen. So don't be in a hurry. Today, we have food. After fellowship, there is swallowship. Uh -uh. You guys, you're not believing me. We have food. We have drinks for you. For you. There is some chicken coming. There is some wali coming. And if possible, there would be posho and matoke for you. Hallelujah. So that after this, it will be celebration time. We are not living here the whole day. So if you came with programs, please cancel them for, on our behalf. 
Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, cancel them on our behalf. In the afternoon, those who are not yet here at the Kingdom Worship Center, we invite you for our annual celebration happening from exactly 2 a.m. We will be live on Facebook, but we want you to come personally here in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Here we talk. We talk. Eh? This is a, a church that talks. Amen. Hallelujah. As you're preparing your offering and the ushers are just giving out the envelopes, kindly let me have the ushers help me. If it is your first time to be in this place, kindly just raise your hand. If it is your first time to be in this place, I hope that is good, Kiswahili. Wow, appreciate our guests. Come on, KWC. Appreciate our guests. Appreciate them. I want to just you to, re to request you to kindly stand up if you can. And we want the church to appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming and being part of us. Hallelujah. Come on, appreciate our guests. Now wait. Just a minute. I want... I want some sisters and brothers to give these guys a hug and tell them, Karibu sana, feel at home, feel at Jesus, feel at KWC. This is the place to be. This is the place of kingdom-minded people. Wakaribishe, wakaribishe, wafuraie kabisa. Welcome them. Karibuni sana. Karibuni sana, karibuni sana. We love you. Thank you for coming. If you don't have a church, make this your home church. Hallelujah. Amen. My sisters and my brothers, thank you for coming. If you don't have a place to be, come here. If you are in Kirigiti, even if you come from Umoja or far, make this your church. Hallelujah. We will love on you. We will spoil you. Ah, we have too much love for you. Karibuni sana. Our youngsters there, Karibuni sana for coming. We have the partakers of your age. Where is Shay? Shay, karibisha wale mavijana pale. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Our guests kindly have your seats. And uh, I would request us that after the service is your first time, you are just going to meet me there on the corner. When we finish the service, we would love to know more about you. Kindly just meet me at the corner there. Amen. Sawa, sawa. And feel at Jesus. Feel at home. Amen. Now, I want us to give our offerings. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you have your offerings ready? I'm waiting on the screen so that we can have our pay bill number. If not possible, can you let me have an usher help me get the pay bill number? Shay, kindly help me. Once again, I welcome you to Kingdom Worship Center. I'm by the names Apostle Sheila Tate, the President Raymond Woman. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm glad to be here. Some of you are looking at me and you're wondering, I'm part of KWC. Amen. I am a full-time member. This is a full-time member. Hallelujah. And we appreciate the woman of God, you know, for entrusting us with this pulpit and, you know, for giving us an opportunity to come and be a blessing to this ministry. Amen. Let me request these beautiful people to stand up before we give. I know we will not have time to introduce them to the church. Uh, we came with a team all the way from Eldoret. Amen. I want all the team to come here. I want all the team to come here. You know, people are questioning. Today you saw different faces, but we are part of KWC, but from afar. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? We are part of KWC. Ah, ah, mutupigia makofi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, appreciate us for coming. Amen. Prophet Ezra came with a team. This is the team from the Revelation Word, not Word. I said it is Word, church from Eldoret. Amen. And Pastor Grace, once again, as a team, we want to honor you. And we are celebrating with K. WC. Amen. We came to celebrate you, your fifth anniversary. And this is the team. This is the team we work with in Eldoret. You've seen the band. I just want to give them a chance for one minute to say hi to you. 
and uh, we came to encourage the ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. The flow team, we came to encourage you. Hallelujah. My sister Joyce and my other sister, the whole team, we came to encourage you that you are not alone. We are with you. Amen. Come on, somebody. We say we, you are not alone. Hallelujah. So a quick one. I think I will introduce them. <laughs> they are shaking their heads. Let me now start from Nani ni Mukubwa, this one. This one ni Mukubwa. So she's Jennifer Buyanzi. She's our lead vocalist. Amen. Has she blessed you with praise and worship? Come on, appreciate her. And uh, she's a secondary teacher. She's a second. Yes, she's a secondary teacher. Ile number inaituaje? Ako na TSC number. Hallelujah. And she's not married, brothers. She's not married. Hallelujah. Are you seeing very well? Or I open your eyes. <laughs> And uh, this is also, she's called Winnie. She's our, she's our newest bride in the ministry. Hallelujah. Sasa, musione maono. Don't say I have seen God has spoken. No. She's married. She's Winnie's winners. She's Winnie, but we call her winners. Hallelujah. She's married to a powerful man of God. He's a musician. I believe they will come here to bless us. Amen. And also, she's a secondary teacher. We have teachers, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, now, <laughs> now, let me start with the man of the keys. I'm going to pick a seven vizuri. I'm going to guitar. Piano. This is the man on the keys. Hallelujah. Come on, appreciate him. He's Alex Otieno, and he's in the university. He's, he's starting to be a nurse. Hallelujah. Sasa kama ni mugonjo unamuona. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is the guy of the drums. Amu wabariki. <laughs> Amu wabariki. Ah, vijana. Simupikia jese makofi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's our best dancer. This man can dance. He can teach me how to go like this. Eh? And I am like, he wants to break my head. But he's the best of the best when we call to. Hallelujah. He's the man of the drums. He's Jesse. And he does all kind of interior work. If you want gypsum, you want wallpapers, anything to do with the interiors. We are not just uh, into ministry, but we work because we have to give. We have to partner with the work of God. Very important. Hallelujah. And they also type. Hallelujah. So he's, he's Jesse, Pastor Grace. He's the man. Hallelujah. And this is also one of the guys. Hey, we're going chemistry, son. Eh? Ah, I'm coming. I'm coming, sisters. Mwanze kuangalia vizuri. Madada, munaona? Ah, ah, madada. Munaone kani wama munaona? <laughs> so he's also very good on keys, the keyboard. He's Kevin. And he's doing hey, chemistry. Analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is the team that came with Prophet Ezra. Oh, Nimesauka Dogo. And this is my baby sister. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, this is my baby sister. I appreciate her. She's the youngest of them all in the group. She's, uh, hallelujah. <laughs> ah. And so her name is uh, Joy Natasha, a.k.a. Tash. Hallelujah. She's a great worshiper. She's anointed, filled with the Holy Ghost. And she is in the university doing... Hey, she's the one who designs me. When you see me looking good, this is the girl behind designing me. Amen. And the, she is the one who designs all of us. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want to appreciate the reverend for giving us and trusting us with your pulpit. Amen. We are so humbled. And we will come again and again. 
I have said she's the only one married. The rest, the rest, chaguo ni lako. Ambia jirani, chaguo ni lako. Hallelujah. Come on, appreciate them as they have their seat. Thank you, King uh, Revelation 1. Thank you for coming. May the Lord bless you. Amen. So I want you to, ri to rise up on your feet with your offering. As I welcome the floor team, we are going to give as we worship. Then mama will just come in to welcome the man of God. Amen. Let me have the floor team in the name of Jesus Christ. Come with your offering. Come with your offering, guys. Even the, ash, even the worship team, we give. Hallelujah. Wasikuje kwa chituti. Chituti ni pulpit. Kwa kiganda tunaita chituti. Without the offering, amen. <laughs> Forgive my Swahili when I mix with Luganda. Tell your neighbor, Mujakuba Bulunji. Tell your neighbor, Mujakuba Bulunji. Tell your neighbor, Mujakuba Bulunji. That means you will be okay. <laughs> amen. Tell your neighbor, you will be okay. Here we are speaking all languages. We are speaking South Africa. We are speaking Kikamba. We are speaking Kikalenjin. We are speaking Kimasai. We are speaking, ah, we are all in one. Kikuyu. Hallelujah. Are you ready with your offering? Now, let me see your offering. If you don't have an envelope, I want tithers. If you don't have an, env an envelope, kindly raise your hand and the ashes will get to you. Amen. You need an envelope? Where are the ashes? Anybody who needs an envelope? All of you are phone people. Okay. You go to Mpesa. Our till number is 566-7147. Our till number is 566-7147. Give the very best in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. Amen. Now I want to pray for that offering. No, let me pray. No, let me pray. I want you to pray. I want you to decrease something over that offering. Amen. Come on, I can't hear you, church. Pray. Speak what you want. On this day of the anniversary, I want you to speak upon your seed, upon your offering, upon your tithe. I can't hear you, church. Come on, somebody. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify your name. We bless you. We worship you. There is none like you. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, that you mighty plant find Jehovah God every seed that we choose to sow in your kingdom today in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. We pray may you keep filling our pockets, O oh God. May you give an overflow in abundance, Jehovah. Father, we thank you. We bless you for our offerings. We ask you, O oh Lord, that even this day as we celebrate the five anniversary let there be grace overflowing in our lives let there be favor overflowing abundance of your blessing lord the signs will follow us from this day henceforth in jesus mighty name somebody say amen, amen. come on somebody say amen. amen those who don't know the uh, the team how we give kindly just come and put here your offering if you are giving via envelopes, if you have your tithe, kindly just walk to the box and put it in here. Amen. Amen. Let's worship the Lord for he has been good. We want to tell him he has never changed and he will never change. Raise your hands. Let's worship him. Oh, Father, we thank you. You've been wonderful, Lord, oh, my Father. You've been wonderful, Lord oh, Jesus. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor, oh, my Father, Jehovah. Receive all the glory, oh, my Father, Jehovah, Lord. Only you deserve it, Jesus. You will never, ever change, Jesus. We've tested of your goodness, oh, my Father. We've tested of your goodness, Jesus. We've tested and we've seen, Jesus, that you will never, ever change. Our praises we and you will never ever change. You are the Lord. You remain the same. You will never ever change. You are the Lord. You remain 
all the glory, Jesus. We receive all the glory, Jesus. Oh, yeah, can say I love a Ever 
Thank you, Lord, for our giving. Thank you, Lord, that we have given out of a cheerful heart. Thank you for what that you have enabled us to give from our hearts, O oh God. We shall never lack. We live in your blessedness. We live in your favor. We live in your abundance. And out of your abundance, out of what you have given us, we have given unto you, Lord. We can never give you enough, Lord. You are the creator. You are the almighty. You are the Lord over the universe. But what we have given from our hearts, oh God, my Father, we have given with thanksgiving as we celebrate today. And as we say that you never change, as we say, you never change. You are the covenant-keeping God. You are the everlasting God. You are the almighty. You are the Alpha and the Omega, Lord. And today we are even celebrating a greater, greater, greater thing that you did for us, O oh God. And we are saying with one voice that you rose, you have risen, and you are alive. And we are celebrating you today as our live almighty God in the mighty name of Jesus. You are no longer in the grave. You are no longer in the grave, Lord. The seals could not hold you. That stone could not contain you. The tomb could not contain you. And today we are saying you are alive. And you reign as the king of kings and as the lord of lords. And here we are standing in your presence, Lord, as your sons, the saints in the kingdom, saying that you are Lord and you never change. And we reign together with you. We reign together with you. And we are forever grateful because of what you did and you said it is finished and we walked, we walk in the finished work of the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I worship you and I exhort you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. And the saints in the house say amen. Can the saints in the house say amen? amen. I will still echo what my sister said when she stood here, Pastor Sheila, and I'm saying it and I'm saying it again. Since Wednesday we have stood here and no one has sat, entered that door or stood in and sat in these seats and their face are looking gloomy and they are looking like he has not risen or Jesus is not alive. So I give you permission as she always does. Today she has forgotten. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Look at your... This is our slogan before we go anywhere. Look at them squarely in the eye. And tell them, my good neighbor, my good neighbor. You are going to sit with me until the afternoon. I want an atmosphere of praise. I want an atmosphere of love. I want an atmosphere of joy. If you are not smiling at me, my good neighbor. Hey, look at them in the eye. If you are not going to smile at me. I am moving and I am moving. Ah, Kama has smiled now. Wewe anza kusonga sahi. Let us see those who are not smiling. If your neighbor is not giving you a smile, John, is he giving you a smile? If he's not giving you tabasamu, your kingdom, can you move? Can you move right now? Can you move right now? I can see all the smiles. I can see all the smiles in the house. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. You cannot frown when he's alive. You cannot frown when he's not in the grave. You cannot frown when you are the representative of God Almighty. You cannot afford a frown, Manasseh. Welcome to the house. You cannot afford that frown. It's not possible. Bishop said as we began here the other time, and he said, if you are looking at your friend and you are not going to tell them they are looking smart, they are looking sharp, they are looking good today, what, what do they have? Jealousy. So look at your neighbor right now, Mwambier. You are looking sharp. You are looking smart. You are looking wonderful. You are looking moi. Hey, you look celebration. Hey, you look so great. You are looking marvelous. Ah, if they are huggable, you can hug them. If they are huggable, you can hug them. If they are smileable, you can smile at them. Hey, brothers, I said if they are huggable, you can hug. Eh? <laughs> 
I can see some doing like. <laughs> this is a joyous day. I mean, just be yourself and be free. We've been given the permission here. Be yourself and be free. This is not a grave. We are not dead. We are alive. And when you are alive, everything that has breath does what? And I know the praise team is going to bring the house down. We're going to have ample time for doing that. We are going to have time for celebration and shouting and kerusoing. <laughs> yes, proclaiming the praises of the Most High. I just want to mention that word keruso before I release the praise team. So many have been asking what is it about keruso. And in one second, in one second, I've seen so many who have written to us in the Facebook page and they are asking what is keruso. Ubiza Mwenzako, do you know what is keruso? You have no idea. Some are doing like this and saying, we have no idea. So you came somewhere and you have no idea what you have come to do, what has been happening the whole five days. Worship team, you know what Keruso is. You're okay. Yes, Keruso is a word that the Lord gave unto us. We've been doing a series of that as we began the year. And when the Lord told us that it is time not to be contained in the four walls of the church, the church has become very comfortable and our bishop told us that. We have become so comfortable in the four walls of the church. You can do anything. Pelekwa pale inje, one second, and you start stammering. The Lord is saying now he has graced you, and that's why we are entering into this. Uh, and after the five years, we are entering into a period where you will blow boldly. boldly. Proclaim. So Keruso just means proclaiming. It means properly preaching the gospel with conviction and with the Holy Spirit. It is speaking for the divine truth that is the gospel. It is speaking with authority and boldness. It is bringing about the kingdom reality to your listeners. The truth about Christ. The revelation about Christ. I, I expected a big amen, amen and a celebration. Amen. Now I know now I hey, know. tell them, now I know. Now I know. And I'm here to Keruso. And I'm here to Keruso. Yes, I'm proclaiming a risen Christ. I'm proclaiming the revelation of one I have encountered. You are not giving stories of somebody you have not met. You are giving the story or you are giving out. You are oozing out and you are leaving out one who is in you. Are we together? Yeah. So as we continue, even as we keep upstanding so that we bring our bishop to give us the word for today. At least now you have the knowledge. We are told my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So as you go to your, the streets, as you go to the environment around you, as you go to your homes, as you go to where you work in that business, Nuta, now you tell them, I am a Caruso revolution, son of the kingdom. Amen. In your churches, in your schools, wherever you will go. You are there to boldly proclaim and to say it. We were told yesterday that if you are ashamed, if you are ashamed to proclaim and to say that you are in Christ, you'll also be ashamed to proclaim you before the Father. You know that? So are you ashamed? No. Are you ashamed of him? No. Are you ashamed of him? No. That no is a 50-50. Are you ashamed of him? No. That is better. That is better. So we are celebrating Jesus and we are going to continue celebrating. So let's celebrate the flow team. And, oh yeah, the flow team. As I said, so, the worship team, the flow team and the extended flow team from the Doret. We have become one. We are all one. The whole of this worship team, they have been here with us from Wednesday and we thank the Lord. And with us from Wednesday, we have been with the apostle. We have been with the bishops. I want just to... Just keep up standing because I just want to mention the men and women who are in the house before we bring Bishop to speak to us. There is a lady, a friend, a sister, and we have worked with her. And she is a witness of this Caruso and where it started. And she has been there and she also knows and she is also our connection to uh, Bishop Musepa. And he has come alone because the husband is in South Africa as we speak now, Pastor Alex. So my sister, just one minute, I will stand here with you. Let's appreciate uh, Pastor. 
I call her Mama Dorothy. <laughs> Miriam, let's, let's appreciate her. Makopi Mazuri to my sister. Just say hi. Praise Simam God. Msichoke. Amen. Bishop Musefa, praise God. Mm -hmm. This is the man I was <laughs> under since 1998. <laughs> oh my God. Amen. He is my spiritual father. My God. There in South Africa, I was under him for many, many years. And I am whom I am because of his teaching under his anointing. You are little breast, dear ones. If you really know what you will tap from him. Oh my God. I'm saved. Amilka, Alex, Pastor Alex, he come here severally. He's there in South Africa. And I'm saved. I'm studying here as a saved girl. Praise God. My God is not in the tube. Jesus is risen. He's not in the tube. When the women went to the tube, they found the stone was lulled. They found the clothing. Uh, the clothing while he's simpering, that it is over. He's risen. Praise God. Hallelujah, my sister, Mama Dorothy, Pastor Milka Wajenga. Let's appreciate her. Let's appreciate her. We have walked a long way with her. Where all this started in Kayole. And I know the destiny kids and youth will be joining us if they have not yet arrived. I'm looking around. I think they are still on their way. You are going to meet them. So we have a Hana, you are here. Hana, just wave at us. Just come and stand here for one second. Just come. This is a destiny youth right now. She is a destiny. This girl we started with her, I think she was two years or three years. You remember Mama Dorothy? You remember Bishop Musepa? You remember them now? Ah, let's celebrate Jesus. The destiny youth are in the house. You are blessed. You are still saved. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus. I see them. I see God. I see the glory of God. We are going to know more about them in the afternoon when we are going to tell you about their history and where we have come from. So I want us to keep up standing now for Heshimaya Buana. We want to welcome the man of God, our bishop. And the rest of the pastors, I will introduce you after we have heard the word. I will introduce all the pastors in the house after we have heard the word. So feel at home, feel at home, and feel at Jesus' feet. So with not having much said and not saying so much, let us put our hands above our heads and bring into the house Bishop Sami Musepa. Thank you, man of God. Karibu. God bless you so much. Karibu. Yes. Hallelujah. Asante sana. Look at Kenyans being jealous of my language. Asante sana. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is a good God. If your neighbor looks like they've eaten bitter lemon, please move away quickly because they'll make you bitter as well. Hallelujah. If the, you know bitter lemon is bitter, isn't it? So if they look like that, just move away. You know, um, Apostle Sherry, Sherry has already told us what to do. So we just move away and go to another seat. Look at your neighbor and say, hey, you know, is it bitter lemon that you ate this morning? <laughs> Praise the Lord. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent. Is your name, O Lord? How excellent is your name? How excellent is your name? How excellent is your name, O Lord? How excellent is your name? How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord. 
How wonderful, how wonderful is your name. Yes, how wonderful is your name. My Lord, how wonderful is your name. Oh, Lord, oh, oh, how wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name. Wonderful is your name, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God, gracious Father, King of kings and Lord of lords, El Shaddai, the one who was the one who is now and the one who shall be. You are the same yesterday, today and forevermore. You saw it fit that we live in this generation and that we may go about to Caruso your word. You have entrusted us with this word. Lord you trust us enough. To give us the book of John. The book of Matthew. The book of Luke and the book of Mark. You fed us so as fit. To give us Lord. The Pauline epistles. The prophetic books. The poetic books. And all the books of the Bible. Lord, you saw it fit that you give them to us. That we may chew on them as our daily bread. And even as I stand before your people, oh God, I counsel the spirit of error. I destroy the power of heresy. I pray that only the unadulterated word of God will proceed out of my mouth. Anoint these lips of clay. Lips that can error at any time. Lord, may you put them in line to speak your word for the healing of your people. To speak your word for the salvation of your people. To speak your word for the enrichment of your people. Like your servant Paul said, we speak so that we make others rich. I pray that as we step out of this pulpit, many will be rich. Many will be healed. And those whom peace has left, peace will return. Peace will come back. Peace will be their portion. And now we speak against the dirty tricks of the enemy and say, you are not welcome here. You are not, not on a day like this when Jesus gave me all the authority and power. Sickness, you are not welcome here. Pain, you are not welcome here. Gossip, you are not welcome here. Competition, you are not welcome here. Backbiting, you are not welcome here. We cast you out by the finger of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus. We proclaim Jesus as Lord. We proclaim him as the Savior of Kenya. The Savior of Kirikiti. In the name of Jesus. Lord arise. That your enemies will scatter. I bring to order. Every confused mind. Every mind that wants this and that. I bring it to order. To obey the voice of the most high. The voice of God. We declare it today. That you are on the throne. The God of Grace Mutiga. 
the God of Kingdom Worship Center. It is you that we call upon today. The God of our friends who trust in you. The God of your servant, the prophet Israel, seated with us here. We call upon you, the God of Sheila, our able moderator. We call upon you, the God that we serve. We worship and adore you. Receive the praise, the glory, and the honor as we together put our hands and clap our hands and say amen. And say amen. Hallelujah. You know, friends, the Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. You know, uh, my wife usually uses a statement. She says, the enemy might play around with you outside there. But don't allow him to play around with you here. Because like uh, the prophet Ezra said the other day, this is a refueling center. We are here to be refueled for the war out there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are here to be refueled for the battles that are out there. Because the greater battles are out there. And that is why we are here. So get as much as possible. Open your ears as wide as you can. But most importantly, open your heart. So that you can grasp and get the word of God. Hallelujah. High five to five, to five people and you may be seated. Hallelujah. If you don't give high five to anyone, you are a witch. Hello? Really? If you don't give anyone, hey, I'm suspecting you. You are the prime suspect. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Brethren, ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Hallelujah. You know, as preachers, we go through a lot of things. I was preparing myself to preach this sermon that I knew God gave me from South Africa when I was coming, when I was asking God, what are the things I'm going to say to your people? And there was a teaching that I felt God gave to me. And I wanted to come and preach it today. But as I sat there, God changed everything. That's the kind of God we serve. He doesn't compromise with us. Sometimes I tell him that he's unfair. But he's God. Hallelujah. And I want you to relax in the presence of God. And just hear what the spirit has to say. God was telling me to speak about his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. God was telling me to proclaim what had happened because today is a very important day in the calendar of the church. Is anybody in the house? Is anybody in the house? Today is one of those very important days. It goes beyond Christmas. Amen? Amen. It goes beyond Christmas. So I'm going to take a few minutes here, maybe just about seven or seven or six or seven, eight hours somewhere there to preach. People are beginning to get out. They are saying, but what about the chicken that Apostle Sherry told us? <laughs> I want to appreciate you, Mama Grace Mutiga. I want to really appreciate you for making it possible that uh, we come to Caruso Revolution and uh, the year 2022. Thank you, Mama. Thank you for what you are doing here. And also, I want to appreciate God for the team that is ministering in front. In fact, the many teams that are ministering here, we want to appreciate you because you are laying a good ground for us to speak. Can you give yourselves a hand, please? <laughs> Hallelujah. And my co-worker in this uh, mission, um, Prophet Ezra, Israel, we want to appreciate you so much. God bless you, sir. God bless you. He's a smart man. Look at the way he's smart, you know. I wish. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, one day I'll look like him also, you know. Hallelujah. I've taken a lot of pictures of him so that I go and advise my tailors. Amen. Hallelujah. Apostle Sheila, thank you very much. Thank you, Mama. We've seen your spirit. We've seen your passion. And uh, we thank God for the servant of God that you have acknowledged. That's what we want. 
to hear, you know, because everyone comes from somewhere. Amen. And there are so many running around like they come from nowhere. Don't follow them. You know, when somebody tells you to follow them, ask them who they are following. Because it's important. Take, take that thing away from me. You know, take, tell them, ask, ask them, who, who are you following? So that I can follow you. Amen. Now that we have this wonderful connection with Kingdom Worship Center, you will see how many people are with me. As an Indian preached here. As an Indian preached here. Because of me, they will preach here. Amen. I don't know if you are. You know, the way you are clapping, like you gave yourself. Ah. <laughs> you know, you will see all kinds of people. People you have never expected that they can preach the gospel. You will see them. Amen. You will see them. Some of you are saying, mm, this bishop, sure, Indian preaching, you will be surprised. Many will be saved. Because God can never be mocked. God is the God of all races. Hallelujah. As a Chinese preached here, huh? I'm glad you are saying not yet. Because the yet has come. Hallelujah. They will come. And minister here. Because everywhere we go, we bring an apostolic establishment. We establish an apostolic stamp that the kingdom goes broader. Because we want you to know that God can never be mocked. You know, I came to Kenya, I think it's 12 years ago, because of that couple. You know, the lady that came to greet us here, you know, uh, uh, Mama Wanchenga together with the husband. The husband is in South Africa as we speak. And they are the ones that invited me here. That was the point of contact. These are the people we built the church in Pretoria with. So you can only imagine how much I love Kenya. Hmm. Where am I? God? Where is this place? <laughs> Because when we started that couple, the Kenyan couple with their children, they were with us for many years in the leadership. And, you know, we were building the church. That's a long time ago. Building the church in Pretoria. And today the church stands strong because we've had people like these coming our way. Some of you, the way you are clapping, as if you gave yourself those hands. You didn't give yourself those hands. Somebody gave them to you. Iwe, clap your hands, you. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Hallelujah. Amen. I told you that by the time I'm leaving, I will know some words. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God. So we want to appreciate God for the Wanjenga family. And they are the ones that brought me and connected me to Grace and the husband, the late husband. We got connected and we kept on, you know, communicating here and there until today the door is open again for me to come back to Kenya. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why I'm saying everyone comes from somewhere. Amen. Everyone comes from somewhere. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Everyone comes from somewhere. And we want to thank God. We appreciate God for all the talents and gifts that uh, uh, Apostle Sheila showed us here. Let's make use of our own people. You know, there's a lady that is designing. Where is you? Stand you. I need you to design my shirt today. Tomorrow I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You must design it. Did you hear? If you're not going to sleep, it's not my problem. All I know is I'm going to pay you. You design it. Amen. Because I want to go and be proud that our own daughter designed this. Because I was jealous when Sheila was talking my own. My, I was jealous. So I'm going to also design. Amen. And I don't want you to come take my measurements. Just look at me and design the thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
What a great God we serve. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another service later on. And so let me do justice to time and just go through what God has given me to share with you. And uh, for those of you we haven't met yet, I live in the city of Pretoria. Pretoria is in Nairobi. Hallelujah. 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 There is a problem somewhere. Ne? Because I'm trying to introduce myself, but people are sort of fighting. Can I go again? Can I say it again? I said I live in the city of Pretoria, and Pretoria is in Nairobi. Amen. It's not working, eh? It's not working, eh? All right. I can see. All right. That's where I live. I, uh, our church is there. Uh, my family is there. Um, I'm married to a lady called Dorothy, and uh, I have three grown-up children, uh, very grown-up. The last one, the last one, can you imagine, Mama Wanjenga, the last one is now 28 years old. <laughs> That's the last one. He's 28 years old, and he's not married. So, so talk to me properly. You never know what happens. Me, I'm a connector. I connect people to Jesus and I connect people to other people. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm sure he's watching right now. If the camera goes through, maybe after the service you say, Daddy, the one who was in a blue or green. <laughs> and then before I go, we will, I will run to your village quickly to talk to them. Amen. Yes. <laughs> What a life we, we live on the face of the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible is a very interesting book. The Bible has many movies. And I want you to hear me clearly. The Bible carries many movies. Why do they, I call them movies? Because some of them look like impossible. Some of the stories you hear in the Bible, they, they are impossible, man. Here, here, let, let me just give you some intros to show you why you need the Bible more than you need any other book and anything else. Look at some of the movies in the Bible. They, they are impossible. They, they look like it's a fairy tale. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. I'll work with her. I'll work with her. Uh, yes, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. <laughs> I'll show you some of the just, just leave her. I, I'm not disturbed unless you are disturbed. I, I I want you to look at some of the things that are in the Bible and they look like they are fairy tales. You know, a group of people goes to cut wood. They are cutting wood. And they are cutting near a, 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 some, some sort of a pool of water. And they are busy cutting wood. And as they were trying to cut, and one of them, boom, the axe went right into the water. And it was a borrowed axe. And you know some people, if you borrow something, bring it the way you took it. Or even better. You know that shoe you borrowed, you had to polish it. Amen. And the axe fell. And they cried out. They said, oh, alas, prophet. Something has gone wrong. And the prophet said, where did it fall? And, and they pointed the place at which it fell. And the prophet said, throw a stick there. And they threw a stick there. Guess what? A stick magnetized a metal. I don't know where I'm preaching. I wish I was in, in Cambodia or somewhere. A, 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 a stick, a stick, wood, magnetized metal. And the, the metal started coming up. That looks like magic, man. But that's Bible. That's life-giving. A guy was left by a boat. They had to go to the other side. And here is the sea. And the guy, you know, they left him and he arrived. The boat is gone. And the guy says, ah, who cares? Let them go. I have my own way of going. 
guess what the guy started to do? You know, I'm trying to show you why the Bible is exciting. The guy just says, ah, so what? And he pulls his leg and puts it on the water. Some of you even in a bathtub, you can drown. But this one is a sea. It's an ocean. And he puts his foot there, cement. He puts another foot, cement. He puts another foot, cement. And he's walking on water. To a point where it was so amazing that, that a guy who saw him, and I'm not mentioning names because you know, and uh, if you don't know, I want you to go find out. A guy who saw him says, Ah, if it is you, let me also walk. And he says, come. You know, as long as it is him who says, do it, you better do it. Even if it looks foolish, do it. That's why this guy was taught, come. And he tried. Pa, cement. Pa, cement. Pa, cement. He walked on water until the neighbors were saying, be careful, be careful, be careful. Then he started being careful and he drowned. If God says do it, don't be careful. Just do it. I said just do it because he said it. Hallelujah. That's, a, that's You know, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. They are at a wedding one day and wine was one of the special commodities of a wedding. And it has to be good wine made properly in Kirikiti. And, uh, and, and they are drinking and guess what? The whole man, the big man of the area, the governor is around. He's in the wedding. And the wine finished before the wedding. And those of you that have studied some uh, Hebrew literature, that was actually a crime. It was punishable by law. You have to prepare yourself if you are inviting people. And here, this uh, uh, bride, uh, uh, bridegroom did not prepare it well because the wine ran out. But thanks be to God for the people who were in attendance. There was somebody in attendance who was the right man for the job. And, 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 and this man knows it all. And they went to him and they said, there is no wine here. And when they went to him and he said, no wine, so what have I got to do with it? Anyway, uh, 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 the, the, the ladies who knew him says, you know what? Don't mind him. Whatever he says, do it. Can I assure you, Kenya, that when God speaks, he does not lie. He says, whatever he says, do it. And he says, go get water. They got water. They were expecting him to fold his gown and begin to put his hand. Oh, these days the prophets would spit in it. Somebody wants to throw up. They were expecting him to do something about the water. But because of just being obedient to the first instruction by saying go get the water and they brought the water that establishes it. When God speaks once, do it and you will see your life is going to grow. And he, and, and he, 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 they brought the water and they said, yeah, yeah, we've brought the water. And, and he says, all right, now that you have done step number one, let's go into gear number two. Get the water and take it to the governor. I feel sorry for the guy who had to do that job. Because that guy knew exactly what is in that cup. He knew what was in that cup. He's one of the people who went to the well to get the water. And here is a man who is saying, scoop, take it. I'm sure it's just a Bible says that it's not every detail that is written. Maybe there was a conversation. I said, uh uh, Jesus, they said wine. They didn't say water. Water they have on the table. Look, look, there is water on the high table. They said wine. Jesus says, do what I'm telling you. And the words of Mary 
the mother are echoing in their ears and say, whatever he says, do it. And the guy, I feel sorry for this guy. And, and he is shivering. You know, you are talking about the governor. You're talking about the president. You're talking about the overall leader. How does the leader say wine? You are bringing water. All those were punishable crimes. And the guy is walking to the governor, shaking. I, I, I believe, you know, a lot of water had to spill because of the shaking and going with fear to the governor. And, uh, and he arrived there. And as he bowed down to give the governor, I believe he did like this because he knows the next thing is a slap. And the governor takes of the water and exclaims and says, what? And I think the boy is beginning to say, uh, governor uh, is looking for the guy who said take the water. Uh, it's, it's not me. I, I, I just obeyed. They said we, we do everything that he says. And, 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 and uh, I just came here, you know, and the governor says, to you, you are not the owner of this wedding. I says, where is that boy? Hey, bridegroom, how do you serve me the best wine when I'm already drunk? And the boy is saying, sir, best wine? Water? Why? Water? Why? I love the Bible. I said I love the Bible. It has movies that are impossible. And they had the best wine in town. There was a crowd of people. I'm showing you and then I come here and then we take another corner and we are done. Listen, there was another crowd. They are all over because they were following Jesus because of the miracles. They keep following him. He goes here, they follow. He goes there, they follow. They forgot to eat. As much as God wants you to fast, he also wants you to eat. And they forgot to eat. And, and now they are far in the bush without shops. And they were broke it seems. And then Jesus looks at them. Man of compassion. Full of the power of God. He looks at them. And he calls Peter and the disciples. And he says hey guys. Let's give them food. Let's give these people food. Because they've been following us and following us. Let's give them food. And Peter says, Jesus, sometimes you talk like you're, you're not on earth. You know Peter told Jesus anything he wants, isn't it? He said, Jesus Christ, you, you, you know very well. And you know our salaries. Jesus, that's why we love you. Because we are expecting you to increase our salaries. And he says, he says, he says, what, what are you talking about? He says, you know, even if all of us here would go and work one year each, we cannot feed these people. Are you following the movies I'm showing you? And, uh, and, and, and Jesus says, all right, all right, all right. What do you have? What do you have? Show me what you have. And, and I, I speak to those of you that have nothing but you want God to bless you. They tell you to give offering. You are, you are, you are, you are sitting down with, with, uh, with nothing. You forget that the Bible says, let no one come to the house of God empty handed. You have to have something. They tell you, give for a screen here. You are looking, mm -hmm, another screen. I see already there are two screens. Wah, 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 wah. Shut up. Get a life. We are here. We mean business. Those of us who want, we will buy the screen. And because of the pronouncement of the prophet of God, we will be blessed. I said we will be blessed. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. It says, it says to them, feed them. And they said, we can't. And it says, what do you have? Ladies and gentlemen, if you want God to bless you, show him something. Show him the basis for the blessing that you are looking for. What is it that you want? Some of you want a husband. You don't even have love. How many men have you insulted and yet you want a marriage? Hey, young man. You want to marry somebody's daughter and yet you don't know anything about taking care of a lady. You don't even have romance. How do you go and, and begin to propose a girl? Hey, I like you. I, ah, I, mean, I like you. 
Lady, when a guy comes to you like that, run. The way you run, this one must hit here. This one must hit there. Run. Go. Because that's not the right one. But if the lady, if the guy comes and says, yo, 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 whoo. In fact, to make you more happy, he must even say, I have never seen anyone like you. <laughs> then you know here we are building something. We are building something. Don't go for guys who don't even know the front from the back. When they are going forward, they look like they are reversing. And you want to you want to love a guy, you're a lady, you want you want marriage. But you are so sarcastic. You keep telling every man who do you think you are. Uh -uh. Man, you need to tell them, I think I know who I am. I have some babies for you. They are inside me. You need to know, ladies and gentlemen, that if you want God's blessing, what do you have what is it he says i'll bless the works of your hands people just the way they look at you run away just the look itself will tell tell you this one staying with this look in my house for together for better for worse this one this is not going to be for better for worse this is going to be for worse and for worse He says to them, what do you have? Thank God for Peter, the talkative man. Sometimes in the flesh, sometimes in the spirit. Peter says to, the, to Jesus and says, ah, we, we've noticed a guy, a young boy, a lad. He's in the crowd and he's only carrying. Peter, Peter was so nosy that he even knew what was in the basket. I, I, I'm, also, I'm always asking myself, how did Peter know? What is in the basket? He already calculated that there are five loaves. Ah, Peter, when did you get there? He says there are five loaves and two fishes. And, 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 and even that is not enough. And Jesus Christ says, because you have given me a basis for the blessing, bring it here. I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go and caruso and, and go and preach the word, let us give a reason to God as to why he will anoint us there as we caruso, as we preach the word of God. And they brought the two fishes and the five loaves and he looked up to heaven and he began to say to them, give it them, give them to eat. And you know the story that even extra remained. I proclaim today in this local church that as you give a reason for God to bless you, God will multiply. God will bless you. May he touch your business. May you touch your marriage. May he touch your church. May he touch your everything. Everything that you own. May God of heaven touch whatever you show him. May he multiply. Somebody say yes. yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh God. Two fishes, five loaves, 5,000 plus people. And there was extra. You know, the Bible doesn't tell us everything, but I think the boy went home happy. Because the boy did not go with five loaves. According to the way the mother sent him. The boy had to go with a basket. Because Peter, I believe, said, boy, where are you, boy? Come. Uh, take this back to your mother. And I think he was in trouble with the mother because the mother had to say, hey, did I send you to steal? And the boy says, no. There, there's a guy. He just looked like he took my fish and he put it like this and oh, all multiplying everywhere. Mama, you should have been there. And the mother said, where, where, where? They are beautiful stories in the Bible. I don't know why some of you waste your time to go to dirty movies. Rambo. You know. You want to go to one man army. Huh? And I see the Indians have taken over. They are showing in Africa big time. What are they calling them? Zen. What is it? 
You see, you know it. I did, I did it deliberately so that I show you that you know it. And yet, and yet in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, we have things that you can never imagine happening in the scriptures. And that is why I started this morning by showing you that the Bible is important. If you don't have a Bible, you need to get a Bible. If, you know, these days they've even put it for you on the phone. You need to download it and, and chew on it and eat on it. Do you know the difference between Rambo and the Bible? It's because Rambo does not give life, but the Bible gives life. Lambo will excite you for a few minutes, but the Bible will give you eternal life, life everlasting. It will give you peace, peace everlasting. It will give you joy, joy everlasting. That is the Bible, the B I B L E. Read it, read it, find those stories. It's amazing what you see in the Bible. It's amazing. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we reach another story. Yo, yo, yo. I said the Bible brings life. The stories of the Bible bring life. Amen. We arrive at another story where things are happening. Deep things begin to unveil themselves in the Bible. A man called Jesus is put on the cross, we know. That was Friday. A man called Jesus screams out and shouts, it is finished. In fact, when he was on the cross, he shouted and screamed, Eloi, Eloi, Lama, Sabakatani. Lord, Lord, why have you forsaken me? Because for a moment, there was too much sin and God had to look away. And Jesus Christ was alone on the cross. And he died, but when he was dying, he said, it is finished. Why? Because your mother must be saved. Your grandfather must be saved. Your tribe must be saved. Because it is finished. The finish means he paid the price. He paid the price. He paid the price. We were supposed to be on the cross. But he said no. I'll die for them. My love for them is so deep. And so I'm going to die for them. Hallelujah. And he died. And they buried him in a borrowed tomb. A borrowed tomb. Bible says a man of sorrow and acquainted with our grief. Are you grieving right now? He's acquainted with your grief. He knows your grief. Are you worried right now? He knows your worries. A man of sorrow. And he was in the grave. And he went and spoke to those that had died before. To bring them back to salvation. But I'm not even going to go there right now. But we, when, when it was Sunday, the Bible says early in the morning. And you need to hear this. Because these are the messages you guys are running away from church. You just want messages of... Take it, you will buy a Mercedes Benz. No, before Mercedes Benz, no Jesus. Because that Mercedes Benz will take you to hell. If you're a young man, you will think every girl must love you because of Mercedes Benz. You need to know Jesus before the Mercedes Benz. Did you hear what I'm saying? Did I say don't buy Mercedes Benz? No, I said you will buy it, but no Jesus first. Because Jesus will control your movements and your actions. We've had young people who are blessed with a car. And on Sunday, they are supposed to sit down playing keyboard in church. And people must phone them. Where are you? It's time. Oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you that now I'm entering Nairobi. Uh -uh. What are you doing in Nairobi on Sunday? Because of a car, you've started misbehaving. 
And that is why we are saying you need first of all this Jesus. So that when, when the Mercedes comes, when the car comes, when the things of this world come, you will know how to control them. They will not control you. Money will not control you. Pride will not enter you. I'm talking as I preach to you, I preach to me. Amen. Because I know what money can do. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you know you can pay anything, you can do anything, you need to be very careful because you forget who gave you the money. The source. So what are we talking about? Here is a wonderful story. He is crucified. He dies. He's put in a borrowed tomb. A guy called Joseph of Arimathea, a small city, came and said, no, put him in my tomb. And they put him in the tomb and they rushed back home. But early in the morning, Sunday, very early in the morning, early in the morning, something began to happen. You know, other visions, they talk about how that he found the clothes were folded inside. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This Jesus, when he was busy folding the clothes in the inside, the angels helping him, the, the stone that was holding the tomb could not stand the folding of the cloth. The stone begins to shake. And for those of you that were here yesterday, we gave you three things that happened when they put Jesus in the tomb. Because we looked at the people that were living at that time and the people that were strong at that time called the Romans. You have to know, during Jesus' time, the Romans were in leadership. They were the ones ruling even over the Israelites. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. If you hear Pontius Pilate, if you hear Caesar, those were powerful men and they had a powerful army. And yesterday, in passing, I alluded to the fact that there were some things that were given to the Roman soldiers for them to be strong. I want you to remember this, that you can never be strong without the word of God. And the Roman soldiers were given certain principles of how to be a strong army. If you are following me, say I'm following. How to be a strong army. And they were given these three very important things and I'm combining them with the resurrection because you need to know why, why that tomb had to open and there, who saw it? Because many people say it's a fairy tale. It's not a fairy tale when you have eyewitnesses. Hallelujah. Fairy tale can, you know, if you, if you are coming from your home, you can tell us any story we will believe, even if it's a fairy tale, because there is no witness. Hallelujah. You can tell us how that you bathed in nice warm water with bubble bath, and you have never even felt bubble bath on your body. How you went to the nearest uh, 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 ice cream bar and had a nice ice cream with chocolate inside. That's, if we were, if there is no witness, a fairy tale. You're just making us feel like we... Amen. Amen. But there, yeah, there are witnesses. So these soldiers, we gave you three points yesterday. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, the first one that I gave you was the soldiers were trained and told, never lose your enemy. Never lose your enemy. Never lose your enemy. Because they had many battles, many wars in the area. They had to defeat other tribes. They had to defeat other countries. They had to defeat so they were fully trained well trained soldiers. One of the things they were taught is listen. Don't lose your enemy. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't lose your enemy. When you find the enemy, follow him to the end. And then come back to us and report where the enemy has gone. Number two, they were told, 
never to tell a lie. In other words, when we send you to go and fight the battles in the nation, when you come back, tell us exactly what happened. Are you following me, friends? Tell us what exactly what happened. You know why? Because when you tell the truth, then we know how to solve the problem. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Even in church, please learn to tell the truth. Asha, why did you come late? You start cooking up a story of how you went to South Africa and came back and then went again, but you came back again and that's why you are late. Allah, you were Stop that. Tell us the truth. Tell us that Aish, my dress, I washed it at night and it did not dry early. So I had to wait for it and blow some fan on it and make sure it dries. That's why I'm late. So that we know that this one needs dress number two. If you tell us about all these things, we won't know that the problem is the dress. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you are staying with people that are not Christians, it is possible to go late because they will tell you, don't go anywhere until you do A, B, C, D, until this and this. So it's possible to be late. So when you come to report to us, tell us my uncle is a problem so that we can pray for you. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. So this Roman soldier was told, do not tell a lie. Tell us the truth. Because the truth will set us free. Hallelujah. And number three, ladies and gentlemen, this is very key. Very key. And the church needs this more than any other place. The third point that the Roman soldier was told was when you go to battle, you know, they give them sections, they give them positions, they give them places where they fight from. They have areas of war, just like in church. That soldier is on the keyboard. Are you hearing that? Do you know how to play keyboard? Huh? That's not there, isn't it? Because when it comes to keyboard, you are useless. Isn't it? But did you see how she dances? Huh? I don't know about that guy. Is that the guy you were saying is a great dancer? But uh, maybe that guy, when he dances, he would destroy the dance. But this woman. Are you hearing that? That's his position. That's his position. Those ladies and gentlemen that were here singing. I didn't hear them messing it up. Some of you who don't know how to sing, sit down. Look at your neighbor and say, sit down. <laughs> let the ones who know how to sing sing in fact some don't even know pastors, bishops, reverend some don't know how to usher some people stand at the door if I was a visitor I run this one will eat here and this one will eat there if I find some ushers at the door they are so bitter If you are not a person who is easy, don't join the ushering team. It's, it's the first time I came here. Next time I come, you'll be surprised. I'll stand with you at the door. Instead of looking at the visitors, I'll be looking at you. Then when I see two visitors have passed, I say, hey, go back inside. Your job is to go do ABCD. And then we call somebody with a good smile. You know some smiles are like they are crying. I saw another smile in, in, in church. I think it was here in this church. Uh, the smile was, it, it was like they are about to die. It's like near my God to thee. It's like they are giving their last smile. It's about... <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, take your place. Take your position. The Roman soldier is told, don't leave your position. Don't leave your place. And whatever we are doing in church, ladies and gentlemen, for us to build the church of Jesus Christ, we need to know our talents. We need to know our gifts. Don't be a copycat. Where just because
because somebody eh, 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 you like what they are doing and then you go there you are a copycat no you have to know what your gift is you have to know what your talents are I'm serious design my shirt you you see this finger uh -huh. Uganda is just next door I'll find you when you sleep you will see me in my dream I'll be saying shirt 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 that's why you are talented like that that's why you know we were boasting about you like that because why that's your gift that's your talent stay there it will open doors for you don't leave your position don't leave your position don't leave your position stay in your place amen stay where you belong stay where you belong don't be somebody and you want to be like that one. No, be yourself. You are not, you are hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the, the three things, you know, don't lose your enemy. Don't tell a lie. Never leave your position. This now this is my closing number one. There are about 16 more coming. This one, let me tell you, this is what brought the Romans in trouble. Together with the priests. Are you hearing me? The Jewish priests. This type of training is what brought them in trouble. Because their soldiers were disciplined. Are you hearing me? Their soldiers were well trained. We're not talking about a simple security guard who has just been given a baton to uh, uh, hit some thieves when they come or hide when thieves come. No, we are talking about well-trained soldiers. And when Jesus was buried, let me hurry up. When Jesus was put in the grave, the, 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 the Jews, the priests, they went over to Pontius Pilate. They went over to the leaders and said, we heard something. We heard that, that this man, you know, uh, 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 might might wake up. So, because that one cannot be true, there is nothing like waking up when you die. So, what we are asking is that you give us soldiers who will stand uh, by the grave, who will guard the tomb, uh, so that if the disciples come and try to steal the body, we will deal with them. And Pontius Pilate says, well, it's your king, I'll give you soldiers. And I mentioned something yesterday in passing, you know, because when we read the Bible, sometimes we read it and we go, I am a theologian. When I read, I want to know why. Did you hear what I said? And so, and so uh, 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 Pontius says, all right, I'm giving you not two soldiers. He didn't, the Bible doesn't say two soldiers. He didn't say four soldiers. He didn't say five soldiers. He said a battalion. A battalion. Some other versions say a centurion. Some other versions say a guard. That's one word. Guard, battalion, centurion. It's the same. And when I went into the annals of, of Jewish history, I found that a battalion is a, a, a troop of 300 to 3,000 soldiers. So Jesus had to be guarded. Let's give them the minimum, the very minimum, 300 soldiers. 300 is a lot of people. Remember, these soldiers are well trained. Never tell a lie. Never lose your position. And never what? Never lose your enemy. And the enemy is in the tomb. Are you hearing that? They've been sent on a special assignment to guard a dead man. My God. You people, Jesus has done a lot. We need to save him better. We need to give him better offerings. I don't know if you are hearing me. We need to go to church more and more to celebrate this man. He's in the tomb. Pontius Pilate gives them 300 soldiers to guard the dead man. He's in the tomb and, and, and here comes today, Sunday, early in the morning. Early in the morning. 
are you with me? No, just, just for, for the sake of uh, Reverend Grace Muthiga inviting me back, let me read the Bible. Because if I don't read, she will announce here and say, we don't want bishops who don't read the Bible. So I want to come back to Kenya. So let me read the Bible. Amen. Amen. You see the way she is happy. Now that I've talked about the Bible, she's very happy with her support, Apostle Sheda. Apostle Sheda, the one who is next to her. I think she's the one who was saying, he's, he's not reading the Bible. Where did you get him from? John 20, John 20, John chapter 20. It says here, and I will be very quick. You can put it on the screen if you can. But John chapter 20, John chapter 20, starting from verse 1, we will read as much as we can. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. The first day, look at, look at this so that we can hurry the story. And let's buy the screen for the preacher. You are going to pick that offering again, eh? Amen. I'll bring, I'll bring 5,000, I think. Amen. Is that enough? 5,000? It's good? Uh -uh, you doubt it. You doubt it. She doubt it. I saw her. I saw into this woman very straight. She says, um, it is good. I knew. She wants more. It's fine. We will do that. Now, day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still Dutch and saw what does she see? That the stone taken away from the tomb. Some vision said rode away. I love rode away. Verse 2 so she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. Now the funny thing about this disciple prophet, this guy who is writing here, the funny thing is that he is writing about himself. This guy is very funny. He says the disciple whom Jesus loved. The others didn't say that. It's only him. He felt Jesus loved him alone. And there are people like that in church. They think they are the only Christians. <laughs> anyway, let me not go into the politics of the Bible. It says here, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Because this is the guy, <laughs> by the way, they are eating, he's laying his shoulders and his head on Jesus to show that I'm the man. And it says here, the one whom Jesus loved and said to them, they, listen, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have laid him. So in her mind, Jesus was still dead and somebody has taken Jesus away. Are you hearing that? It says they have taken and we don't know where they have laid him. Verse 3, verse number 3, it says, so Peter went out with the other disciple and they were going towards the tomb. Look at the, it's funny. The Bible is interesting. Look at what comes. Look at what comes. Go, 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 go to verse number uh, four there. Both of them were running together. But, <laughs> the Bible is very funny. The Bible is very funny. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. What has that got to do with us? Is this about a racing competition? But the Bible just wants to spice some things in to make it more interesting. You know, you can imagine Peter. I think he was older than the other guy. So naturally, you know, the other guy had a little bit more strength. By the way, some Kenyan youths are looking. If me and them go to the field, I will outrun them. Because some of them are sitting on the chair like this. Sit up, man. Be strong. It says there, both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb. But look at what happens. Go, 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 go. Look at what happened. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen clothes lying there, 
but he did not go in. Listen, he did not go in. Listen, he outrained Peter, but he did not finish what he went for. Give me the other verse. Then Simon Peter came following him and went inside. That's why they went. They were to go inside to make sure just in case some kind of wind threw him to a corner and so you're not, you not seeing him. So Peter went in to ensure there is thorough inspection that Jesus is not there. And he says, then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen clothes lying there. Go, go, go. It says there, and the first cloth been uh, uh, on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen cloth, but folded up in a place by itself. Uh, some of the details, I don't know what they are for, but they are important. It goes the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed. They now believed. I'm sure when, the, when Mary was telling them, they were saying, Mary, we know you talk too much. But anyway, we will go. Go for the next verse. Let me see if I need it. For as yet, they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Go. Just go. Then the disciples went back to their homes. Go. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb and as she wept she stooped to look into the tomb look at what she saw look at what she saw and she saw how many angels two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain one at the head and one at the feet go for it go they said to her, woman, you know that angels speak, isn't it? You know, these things you are dreaming every time, snakes, is crocodile, you know, centipede, millipede, that they are crawling in your nose. You need to pray against these things. They are better dreams. You know, better, don't dream like me. Me, I dream cartoons. But even the cartoons I dream, ah, they are sweet, they are special. And, and, and angels were in the tomb and they spoke. They didn't speak to Peter, they didn't speak to uh, 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 John, the other disciple. They spoke to the woman and said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. You know, some of us, the churches we go to, Jesus is not there. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. Jesus, I'm not even going to go there because that's another two hour sermon. Remember, I only have seven hours. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. The reason she did not know was because she was there when they put her in the grave. So she knows he died, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will, I will, I will take him him away. Listen church if Jesus has stopped existing in your life go and get him back. Jesus said to her Mary she turned around and said to him in Aramaic Raboni meaning teacher. She realized it was him. Now let's go a step backwards a little bit before I close and look at some very important principles here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you still in the house? Are you still in the house? I want you to understand that this is extremely important for your salvation. Amen. 
I want you to look critically at what happened because this is what has made us to be who we are. Hallelujah. Early in the morning, Mary arrives. But when Mary arrived at the tomb, the tomb was already open. That means action had already taken place. Are you hearing me? There was already action. You know? But you know what? This action was witnessed by the soldiers. Remember they were guarding the tomb 24 hours. And the soldiers saw. And I can only imagine that there is a dead man in the tomb, ladies and gentlemen. There is a dead man there. And the soldiers are told, don't lose your position. That means every soldier of the 300 plus that were in the grave had a position. And the key position was the tomb. Are you hearing me? The key position was the tomb. That means there must be a soldier here. I don't know if you are hearing. I'm sure the soldier is even holding on to the stone. Because he is supposed to be in his position. He must never lose his position. He's holding on. And I believe there was another soldier here. Because this is crucial. This is a critical matter. I believe there was another soldier here. I believe there was a soldier there. I believe there was a soldier there. I believe there was a soldier there. And everybody was there. The focus and the attention was the tomb. Never leave your position. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Don't disgrace yourself. If you don't know how to sing, don't come here to sing. You are disgracing yourself. As beautiful as you are, you want to disgrace yourself. Just stay where you, 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 you belong. Amen. There are many positions in church. One of them is yours. But maybe singing is not one of them. Even when you come to preach, you, can, you, you want to go preach, but you don't even know where Mark chapter 1 is. Huh? You have to, to, to waste our time 15 minutes before you find Mark. So the soldiers are all over the shore. The tomb is the focus. There's somebody at the back. There's somebody here, somebody there. Never lose your position. Early in the morning, something begins to happen. Brrr. This thing begins to shake. Cartoons are nice because in the cartoon world, hey, you, why are you shaking the star? And this guy says, I will slap you. It's you who shook the star. And as they were arguing among who is shaking what, the stone begins to shake again. Brrr. I said, you did it again? And this one said, you did it again? And then, and then, and then, and then the, the, the shaking becomes more intense. Brrr. Because they are folding towels inside there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are busy folding towels inside there. And so everything is moving. And they saw. I said, ah, John, it's not you moving the stone. I said, no, I told you, Peter, that it's not me. James, did you come here to move the stone? Ah, you guys are crazy. You know me, I'm in my position. And then they realized something out of, the, out of this world is happening. And then they say, Captain! Captain! <whistles> Captain! And Captain says, what's wrong? You better be here yourself. If we tell you you won't believe it, you better come. Shut up, guys. Do your job. Stay in your position. They are busy folding the curtains inside there. Ah, Captain! And now they go together. Two, three voices. Captain! Captain! And the captain begins to come. What's wrong? Say, so, Captain, please stand here. Captain, stand here. Why am I supposed to stand here? I'm supposed to supervise everybody. The guy here says, Captain, just stand here yourself. We don't want trouble. 
We are in our position as you can see. And the captain as he was trying to speak. Brrr, say, what? Why are you guys doing that? Say, captain, that's what we were trying to tell you. Something is not right here. We were sent on a very bad assignment. This one, what can we do? Who do we shoot? Do we shoot the stone? There's a dead man inside. Why, captain? And as they were talking, quah, it begins to move. And, and, and the stone just begins to move. And, and that, uh, it begins to move. And I pray in the name of Jesus, let that poverty begin to move. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, that those anger issues, let them begin to move. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them move. Let them move. Let them move. Because the honors of the world are coming out. Woo! And it moved. And the captain says, hey, hey, go call the commander. Run! Go call him. Ha, 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 to bring the commander. And as the commander is arriving, what does he find? Because when the stone moved, ladies and gentlemen, there was a, a, a unique light. Ah, there was a unique light ah, and this light I pray let him shine in you right now let the light of God begin to shine in your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ there was a unique light and as the captain tried to look he fell down as this soldier looks he fell down and as he came out my God the entire graveyard was shining and one by one, they began to fall down. They had no power. These are Roman soldiers. I paralyze every demon that's tormenting your life. In the name of Jesus. Every that is tormenting your life. I paralyze it today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Arise your enemies. Let God arise and your enemies be scattered. Let God arise and your enemies let them scatter. Let God arise, beat the drum. Let God arise, beat the drum. Let God arise, beat the drum. And the enemies let them scatter. Somebody shout, scatter. Woo! And they went, they went down. Like dead man. Do you know what that means? When he rose from the dead, he gave you victory. When he rose from the dead, he gave you anointing to Caruso. Hello? He gave you anointing to Caruso. He gave you anointing to break every yoke of bondage. I pray for you. If you are still in your body, he rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. If you are lonely and crying every time, he rose from the dead. I speak peace, be still. I speak peace, be still. I speak peace, be still. They were lying down because your poverty must lie down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your selfishness must lie down. In the name of Jesus Christ. The honors of the universe. They are rising up. In your life. They have risen up. In your life. The ones that created the sun. They have risen up. The ones that created the moon. They have risen up. The sea. They have risen up. In the name of Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. Today we are free. Today we are victorious. Today we can overcome. Let God arise. His enemies, let them scatter. The enemies of Kingdom Worship Center, let them scatter. In the name of Jesus Christ. The enemies of your life, let them scatter. Come on, somebody give the Lord some praise. Come on, somebody give the Lord some praise. You cannot afford to be seated down. When your enemies have been scattered, it doesn't matter how it looks like. What devils you've been dealing with, 
what addictions you've been dealing with. Today is a resurrection Sunday. We have been set free. We've been delivered. We are going to Caruso like never before. Every enemy has been scattered. Deliverance has come. Healing has come. Joy has come. Peace has come. Hey, come on somebody tell your neighbor. The enemies have been scattered. Hey, hallelujah. Come on, let us appreciate the bishop. Let us appreciate the man of God. Come on, show him some love. Hey. Hallelujah. Is the Lord good? Uh -uh. Is the Lord good? I believe we have some young men and women who are vibrant. Hallelujah. We don't want you to bore us. Come on, somebody help me. Hallelujah. We are going to Caruso. And we are not going to Caruso with our hands like this. They must hear the sound. Uh -uh, I said they must hear the sound. The sound of victory. The sound of KWC. The sound of the royal ladies. The sound of a woman. The sound of Joyce. The sound of Sheila. The sound of grace. Because it's, it is a resurrection Sunday. He's no longer in the grave. You are no longer hidden. You are no longer lacking. Hey, I am blessed of the Lord. Because Jesus is risen. Uh -uh. Am I talking to somebody? I am just speaking from where the fire has been burst. I am no longer going to be silent. Now let me talk to somebody. Let me talk to Pastor Grace. There are people who think you will be quiet. But from today... There is a double grace. Number five, the year of grace. Hallelujah. I can see, oh, hey, food has come. Tell your neighbor, food has come. I said we have food, oh. Tell your neighbor, we have food, oh. We are going to enjoy our food. Now, let me just request us to sit as I give some time for the catering team, you know, to organize themselves. Now, let me have somebody write for me Shay's number. Hallelujah. Yesterday, uh, Apostle Peter Mwanaina, Peter Mwanaina was here, and there was a prophetic word released to us. When you encounter the anointing, there is a shift. Amen. And he said... The preacher needs a screen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Uh -uh. Are you with me? Are you with me? If you are with me, raise up your hand. Do we agree that the preacher needs a screen? Because there is a shift in kingdom worship center. Amen. Are we together? We are not going to send this to the till number. Amen. This is the church project. Amen. And you and me, we don't need wazungus here. You are the muzungu, you and me. Tell your neighbor, Ata kama eni nyeusi sana, muambia, you are the muzungu. Hallelujah. Joyce, kindly come and help me with an envelope here. I want some people to just choose to partner with this kingdom agenda. Amen. Hallelujah. I want some people to, uh, give me some more envelopes. We have bazungu here. Hallelujah. This has, can, can we check inside? Some has, have offerings. Let me have this. Hallelujah. I want some rich men and women like me to partner with the kingdom, to the work, to the work of the kingdom. Amen. Uh -uh. Amina. Njokele Uganda. Njokele Uganda. Ah, Kambi Jacob, you know. You know me, I understand one language called cash. Uh -uh. I understand one language called what? Cash. Pesa, hallelujah. One of the pastors said that those days when he was poor, whenever he would be on the pulpit preaching, the landlord used to come in church and he's there preaching and the landlord is doing this. Meaning, haujalipa rent, nataka pesa, unaubiri hapo nataka pesa, amen. But we want to buy a screen for the church, amen. 
and we shall not go to the shop and, and do rakadaba sekete to wear TV, to nataka TV. Amen. It costs some money. Hallelujah. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? Kuna matajiri apa. Hallelujah. Kuna matajiri. Hey, I've heard another word. Kuna masos. Uh -uh, some of you, you still believe you're broke. Come on. Kuna matajiri apa. Do I have some rich men and women in the house? Do I have some men and women who are believing God for something big? Yes. Hallelujah. Let me share with you a testimony. As you are getting in your bag. Hallelujah. As you are getting where? Oh, in your wallet. Hallelujah. Kama una wallet, asa ande tunenda kuona sai. Hallelujah. There are some people who pledged yesterday. And uh, Shay, I need your number, baby girl, please. Your number. Ah, good girl. She understands my language. This is not get language ya pesa. Hallelujah. I'm a preacher of the gospel, but I also do interior designing. Amen. Ninafanya kazi nde pastor wangu asifungiwe rent. Hallelujah. Ah ah. Ninafanya kazi nde pastor wangu asifanye nini? Asifungiwe nyumba ati ajali pa rent. Mimi nde nafani fanya nini ni support kazi yake. Amen. So we have some uh, some people who pledged yesterday. Uh, yesterday we, we had uh, Reverend uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wanaina. They pledged 5,000 Kenya shillings. Wapigie makofi. Uh, um, wapigie makofi. Hallelujah. Then uh, we have my own apostle, the prophet Ezra Elisha. He has also pledged 5,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, um, wapigie makofi. Nani akona jealousy? Then myself, I'm gonna give two thousand Kenya shillings. Hallelujah. Then we already received one thousand from one of the guests who came yesterday. Uh, we have uh, Mr. And, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Peter Maggie. They will do the installation. They are going to clamp that TV up there. So the bill, the installation, the clamp, everything is on them. We have uh, our baby girl, the apostle of the house, Shay Mudiga. She also pledged 1,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are talking. And now we have our own bishop all the way from South Africa who is going to give us 5,000 Kenya shillings. Hallelujah. And now, before I invite the children, I want some very powerful people in the house who can pledge 1,000, 2,000, 500 Kenya shillings. Nataka tu muni tembele tu wapa kwa kwa dakika chache. Simu nataka tukule lunch chap chap. Ndii chakule itu ispoa buwana. Inenda ugali itapoa. Hallelujah. Where is the flow team? I want the flow team to plant a seed. Sinyinyi ne mutakuwa munaekewa pa lyrics. Sazile imetusumbua akili. Eh? Wama... Lord team, I want some money from you. Seriously. Hallelujah. I know we want to go offline. Yeah. I, want, I know we, are, we want to go offline. I want to appreciate everybody, every man, every woman, every child who plugged in online. We love you. Thank you for plugging in. God bless you. Two o'clock, we will begin our anniversary celebration. Kindly come and be part of us. Come and have a good time in the Lord. Come and have an experience of Caruso Revolution. God bless you. Thank you for plugging in. Hallelujah.